maintaining the paragraph breaks and natural pauses. Get a good chair or a comfortable armchair ready. Grab some popcorn and a nice soda, because in these wonderful 30 minutes, we are going to see a compilation of the eight best crosses to produce laying hens at home. But not just any laying hen, but hens with a laying capacity of 300 eggs per year. In addition, many of these crosses produce chicks that are sexable by the color of their plumage at birth. I'm sure the last hen on this list will leave you breathless, so come with me. Number 8. Black Star High Production Line Black Star hens are a hybrid line of laying hens highly valued for their high egg production and resistance to many diseases. It is the result of crossing two distinct breeds, the Rhode Island Red Rooster and the Barred Plymouth Rock Hen. This cross was designed to obtain highly productive, docile, and hardy birds. Among the most distinctive characteristics of this line are High Egg Production The hens are known for their excellent egg production, laying between 250 and 300 large brown eggs weighing 65 grams. Females reach sexual maturity between 22 and 24 weeks. They are docile and easy to handle birds, making them suitable for various breeding environments. Furthermore, they are resistant to many diseases, making them a popular choice among breeders. A distinctive feature of this cross is autosexing, which means that male and female chicks can be easily differentiated at birth by their down. Males and females are black when they hatch, but males are born with a white spot on their heads. Adult hens exhibit predominantly black plumage, marked by a distinctive golden stripe on their chest, a trait that facilitates their identification. While egg production tends to decrease after two years, their initial efficiency is remarkable. It is important to note that these birds do not possess a strong brooding instinct, a characteristic inherited from their parent breeds selected for high production and not for their breeding ability. Number 7. Nick Brown High Production Line It's time for the Nick Brown Hybrid Hen. This super hybrid is the product of crossing none other than the Rhode Island Red, which has been one of the pioneering breeds in terms of egg production and the creation of many laying hybrids that exist today. In this case, we are going to cross the Rhode Island Red Rooster with a hen, as productive as she is elegant, I'm referring to a beautiful Sussex hen, to result in the cross of these beautiful high production hybrid hens known as Nick Brown. And of course, they are also sexable. It doesn't get any better than that. The Nick Brown is a commercial hybrid developed to maximize egg production. It was created in 1965 by the German corporation HNN International. It took a decade of genetic research to combine high productivity, disease resistance, and adaptability to different climates. Its development focused on selective crosses that integrated genes from the breeds we mentioned earlier, I mean the Rhode Island Red and the Sussex, taking advantage of their advantageous characteristics that we named to obtain daughters with good production of large brown eggs. Main Characteristics of the Nick Brown Produces about 300 eggs annually, one of the highest rates in commercial poultry, equal to the production levels of the Black Star and the Shaver Black, which are sexable hybrids. Although commercial lines like the Highline Brown are extraordinarily productive with more than 300 eggs laid per year, the Nick Brown's productive capabilities, although modest, are appreciated by large egg production industries. They begin laying between 20 and 22 weeks, with eggs that can easily weigh 60 to 70 grams. These have a dark brown and strong shell. Regarding the weight and meat of this hybrid, hens weigh between 2 to 2.3 kilograms and roosters between 3.5 to 4 kilogram. Number 6. Shaver Black High Production Line This particular cross confers on the Shaver Black the unique characteristics that distinguish it in the modern poultry field. The Shaver Black is characterized by its intense black plumage that provides elegance and distinction. The hens have a robust and well-proportioned body, weighing approximately 2.4 kilograms, which defines it as dual purpose. One of the most notable advantages of the Shaver Black is its early sexing, facilitated by the barring of the Plymouth Rock Mother. Male chicks, like the Black Star, are born with a small white spot on their heads, while females have completely black plumage. This visual differentiation allows for early and efficient selection of the birds, optimizing production from day one. The genetics behind this early sexing lies in how the birds inherit sex-linked genes. This visual differentiation allows for early and efficient selection of the birds, optimizing production from day one. The genetics behind this early sexing lies in how the birds inherit sex-linked genes, allowing for visual differentiation of chicks according to their sex. The Shaver Black is an exceptional layer, capable of reaching a production of 280 to 300 large brown eggs in its first laying year. The eggs, with an average weight of 63 grams, stand out for their quality and flavor. Sexual maturity is reached between 20 to 22 weeks, allowing for rapid incorporation into production. Like its counterpart the Black Star, 
The Shaver Black does not show a strong brooding instinct, prioritizing egg production. The optimal egg production of this line is maintained for the first two years, after which production gradually decreases as in other high production lines. Number 5. Bard High Production Line You cross a Bard Plymouth Rock Rooster with a Rhode Island Red Hen. The product of this cross are Bard chickens with excellent laying ability and good weight. It is difficult to pinpoint the exact historical record of the first specific cross between a Bard Plymouth Rock Rooster and a Rhode Island Red Hen. However, we can understand the historical context and the reasons behind these crosses. The main objective was to create a hybrid that surpassed the parent breeds in egg and meat production. For this reason, both crosses were made. The Rhode Island Red Rooster with the Bard Plymouth Rock Hen to produce Black Star Chicks, and the Bard Plymouth Rock Rooster with a Rhode Island Red Hen. In this case, the result was hybrid hens known as Bard Layers or Light Bard. Bard laying hens are not as common as the cross to produce Black Stars because the chicks resulting from this cross are not sexable at birth, as both males and females are born black with a white spot on their heads and are barred as adults, both females and males. However, this cross is very popular in poultry farming due to the productive and physical characteristics they inherit from both parent breeds. These medium-sized birds are excellent layers, reaching sexual maturity between 22 and 24 weeks. With a good physical environment, such as a quiet coop where they feel comfortable, and a proper diet high in protein and nutrients, an average of 280 to 300 eggs per year can be obtained. But not just any egg, they are large to extra-large brown eggs. Number 4. Red High Production Line Let's look at the result of the cross between a Rhode Island Red Rooster and an Isa Brown Hen. This results in chicks with characteristics influenced by the genetics of both breeds, obviously, but let's be more specific. One Z chromosome from the Rhode Island Red Father and another Z chromosome from the Isa Brown Mother. The Rhode Island Red is homozygous for the gold allele, which would be S, but in this case, it would carry two S's since it has two Z chromosomes. In the male chick, the gold allele is like a light yellow, a gold color more or less, so you have an idea. On the other hand, the Isa Brown has two sex chromosomes, which would be Z and W, like any other hen. The Isa Brown also has a gold allele, which is S, since it descends from the Rhode Island Red in the original cross. So the males resulting from this cross between the Rhode Island Red and the Brown will be SS, exactly like the Rhode Island Red, which will show the typical dark red of the father, but attenuated by maternal dilution genes from the Isa Brown that we will see later. Pay close attention to this part. The females of this cross, which will have ZW chromosomes as I said before, inherit the Z from the Rhode Island Red Father and the W from the Isa Brown Mother. These chicks will only express the color linked to the paternal Z, which is red or gold as it is also called, but diluted by autosomal genes from the Isa Brown in this cross. These autosomal genes that we named in both the son and the daughter are responsible for diluting the red color inherited from the Rhode Island Red Father, that is, they are the ones that modify the expression of pigmentation in the feathers. In the case of the Isa Brown Mother, who transmits these autosomal genes, this dominant autosomal buff gene converts the intense red to a lighter tone like golden or beige, as those that carry at least one copy of this dominant gene. See? The daughters will also inherit this gene, diluting the gold red of the Z chromosome contributed by the father. Browns usually carry this dilution gene recessively, inherited from their mother, the Rhode Island White, which turns the intense red into light brown. This explains why the chicks will have a lighter tone than the Rhode Island Red, but darker than the Issa Brown. What would be the real purpose of this cross between the Issa Brown and the Rhode Island Red? The purpose would be to obtain chickens with greater resistance to diseases, since they inherit the robustness of the Rhode Island Red, and they will also be more adaptable to variable climates, being less prone to stress problems than Issa Browns. Generally, these being commercial hybrids are usually more delicate in extreme environments. Regarding egg production, the hybrid females will lay brown eggs similar to that of both parents, with an estimated amount of 250 to 280 eggs per year, slightly less than the brown, which easily lays more than 300 eggs per year, but more than the Rhode Island Red, which lays between 200 to 250 eggs maximum per year. Number 3. High production line of mixed colors with four dominant colors, which are black, barred, white, and white with barring. Of all the crosses made, it was difficult to obtain offspring whose plumage color resembled that of the Issa Brown. These four basic colors that are frequently obtained in this cross of a barred Plymouth Rock rooster with an Issa Brown hen do not completely rule out the possibility that some chickens of other colors or patterns may be born. Let's start with the white variety obtained from this cross. 
It is possible that some offspring from the cross between a barred Plymouth Rock rooster and an isobrown hen will be completely white. This is due to the presence of the eye gene, which is the color inhibitor gene that is dominant in this case and may be present in the Rhode Island white inherited from its mother. This gene inhibits the expression of pigment in the feathers, resulting in white plumage. If the chicks inherit this inhibitor from the Isa Brown mother, as was the case here, they could be born completely white, although in some cases they might show small black spots if the eye gene does not completely inhibit the color, which we can clearly see in this beautiful specimen resulting from this cross. This phenomenon is common in commercial hybrids, where specific genes are selected to maximize certain characteristics. For example, it can be clearly seen in white broiler chickens, whose color pattern is predominantly white, but some black feathers may be visible. The body shape of this white hen is beautiful, as it has a physical appearance similar to a barred Plymouth rock, but with predominantly white plumage. Then we have the white variety with a barred pattern. It is possible that some offspring from this cross will show a partial barred pattern in specific areas such as the wings, chest, and neck, with a brown and white color instead of the classic black and white. This is due to the interaction of several genes that affect plumage color and pattern. First, we have the expression of the barred gene, gene B. Although the barred gene is dominant at first glance, its expression can be affected by other genes contributed by the Isa Brown. In this case, the barred pattern has manifested partially or in specific areas due to the influence of other secondary genes. Among these secondary genes contributed by the brown is the I gene, which is the color inhibitor gene. If the Isa Brown contributes the color inhibitor gene, it could reduce the intensity of the barring in certain areas, leaving a more subtle and localized pattern. We also have another gene that is expressed in this case, which is the brown color gene, contributed by the Isa Brown. The Isa Brown has a characteristic brown plumage that could influence the tone of the barring, transforming it into a brown and white pattern instead of black and white. By introducing genes from a hybrid line like the Isa Brown, the combination of barring genes can lead to a unique and unexpected pattern like partial, barring in specific areas. This type of genetic variation is common in hybrid crosses and reflects the complexity of the inheritance of color from the parents. Then we can observe a beautiful hen whose barred pattern is somewhat similar to that of the barred Plymouth Rock hen, with some differences. Let's see, it is possible that the daughters of this cross will show a barred pattern similar to that of the barred Plymouth Rock, but with variations with a darker tone in much of the body and predominantly whiter, barring in areas of the face, neck, and chest. This is due to the genetic interaction between the parents and how the genes related to color and plumage pattern are expressed. In this case, the B bar gene linked to the Z chromosome is dominant and responsible for the barred pattern. In the females resulting from this ZW cross, the barring may be less uniform because they only have one copy of the barred gene, which can lead to variations in the tone and distribution of the pattern. On the other hand, we have the influence of the extended black gene E, if the Isa Brown contributes the extended black gene, it can darken certain areas of the body, modifying the barred pattern and making some areas darker. In addition to barring, other genes present in the Isa Brown can influence the intensity and distribution of color, creating lighter areas on the neck, face, and chest, as is the case here. The barring on this hen resulting from this cross consists of wider black bars over much of the body, giving the impression at first glance of being predominantly black, but upon closer inspection, it can be seen that it certainly possesses barring in its plumage. On the other hand, we can observe on the chest and face a barring whose expression of white stripes is more dominant. Sexing by barring at birth in this case does not achieve the purpose due to the genetic variation present in the cross between the Isa Brown hen and the barred Plymouth Rock rooster, so sex could be expressed in any of the colors I have pointed out. It is very common for most offspring to be born with a barred pattern because the Issa Brown also carries genes from the barred Plymouth Rock breed. And finally, we have completely black chickens. This occurs due to the genetic interaction between the parents' genes. The solid black color in the offspring is a manifestation of the barred gene B without the visible white stripes. This can happen if the barred gene is present but not fully expressed due to interaction with other genes, such as the extended black gene E, which can mask the barred pattern and is contributed by the Isa Brown. In poultry genetics, plumage pattern can be influenced by multiple factors, including the dominance of certain genes and the interaction between them. If the extended black gene contributed by the Isa Brown can hide the visual effect of barring, making the plumage appear completely black. Number 2. Buff Barred High Production Line Crossing a barred Plymouth Rock rooster with a buff Plymouth Rock hen will produce offspring with a mix of traits from both parents. The barred pattern will be expressed, but the color of the bars may vary. The barred pattern is a dominant genetic trait 
That is, when crossed with a breed that does not have the barred pattern, the barred pattern is expressed in the offspring. The buff color is a recessive trait. For it to be fully expressed, both parents must carry the genes for the buff color. The resulting chicks are called F1 or the first generation. These will have a barred pattern, but the color of the bars may vary. Some chicks may have lighter or yellowish bars due to the influence of the buff gene. Some offspring will show a mixture of the two colors with a less defined barred pattern and a generally lighter tone. Selective breeding can be used to emphasize certain traits in future generations. It is also important to note that Plymouth Rocks are dual-purpose birds, so the offspring will maintain the characteristics of good egg and meat production. They are good layers of brown eggs. Generally, a hen can lay between 200 to 250 eggs per year. They start laying around 6 months of age. The eggs are medium to large in size, weighing approximately 60 to 65 grams, with a brown shell. And finally, we have number 1, Issa Brown High Production Line. The company behind this high production brown egg line is of French origin, called ISA, which has worked for more than 35 years in the development of birds with excellent feed conversion and high persistence in egg production. The ISA brown was created through crosses between the Rhode Island red rooster and a Rhode Island white hen, which resulted in a hybrid hen that is sectable at birth and with an exceptional egg production capacity. It is estimated that the ISA brown produced by this company can reach a maximum production under 100% optimal conditions of 350 eggs per year. Generally, no laying hen of any breed or hybrid can be compared to these levels of brown egg production. The creation of the hen involved a complex genetic process that is not limited solely to the genes of the Rhode Island Red and the Rhode Island White breeds that we might have at home. Although these breeds were the main basis, the ISA company introduced genes from other laying breeds to optimize characteristics such as egg production, resistance, and adaptability through an intense genetic improvement program that encompassed a strict process of crossing and genetic selection. In addition to the Rhode Island Red and the Rhode Island White, some breeds that were used to contribute genes to the Isa Brown and turn them into super hybrids of egg production include the Brown Leghorn Chicken Breed. It is a color variety within the Leghorn breed, recognized for its brown plumage and its ability to produce brown-shelled eggs, unlike the traditional white variety that lays white eggs. The brown variety arose as a result of selective breeding to diversify the plumage and adapt to commercial preferences such as brown egg production. This variety of leghorn lays between 280 to 300 eggs annually, a similar amount to the white leghorn. But it's worth noting that these breeds used to contribute genes to the creation of the Isa brown were selected from only the best specimens, those that stood out among the others for their maximum egg production. That is to say, these breeds were also rigorously selected and crossed to choose the best and introduce these genes into the creation of the Isa brown. Also, the sexual maturity of the chosen breeds had to be early sexual maturity. The Bard Plymouth Rock breed was another used to contribute genes in the creation of the genetic complex inherited by the Isa brown hen. This breed contributed characteristics of hardiness. The New Hampshire was another breed used, and it's similar to the Rhode Island Red. This breed is known for its good production of brown eggs and complemented the genetic characteristics of the Isa brown. And the last breed used to contribute genetics to the Isa brown was the White Leghorn breed. The White Leghorn is one of the best laying breeds known today and could not be missing from this genetic party. But how was it done if the White Leghorn lays white eggs and the Isa brown lays brown eggs? Introducing White Leghorn genes would be to improve the existing characteristics of the Isa brown. So how did they manage to contribute the exceptional qualities of this breed to introduce the genes of this breed without affecting the color of the Isa brown's eggs? They first had to cross the Leghorn breed with the Rhode Island Red. And from that cross, select the offspring that presented the productive qualities of the leghorn and laid brown eggs. This selection of offspring with these qualities, to cross them again among individuals with the same characteristic, resulted in a variety of white leghorn with brown egg production, and that have different qualities and genetic contributions than the traditional leghorn. All this variety of genes that were introduced into the Issa brown had to converge in two base breeds, which were the Rhode Island Red on the paternal side and the Rhode Island White on the maternal side. And why choose these two breeds as the basis for producing the Issa Brown? These two breeds were chosen as the basis because the cross between both breeds results in chicks that are sexable at birth. A true marvel on the part of the people who dedicated their lives to a complex genetic world and who made the Issa company one of the best industries for the production of laying hens with unprecedented productive qualities in the poultry world. To your success, creator friend. Until next time.